Barbara Eden have been a billionaire if she was the first on-screen Barbie? Crazy thought, right? We know this is pure fiction, but we couldn't help but let our minds wander. We have been looking for a way to explore Eden's career, and after watching the trailers for the upcoming Barbie movie with Margot Robbie, we thought, could Barbara Eden have landed the role of Barbie decades ago? Could both Eden and Mattel have missed out on billions, well, maybe not billions, but millions for sure, by not bringing Barbie to the big screen sooner? Let's dive in. First things first, let's talk about the origin story of Mattel, founded by Harold Matt Matson and Elliot Handler in 1945. Matson sold his share to Handler due to ill health, and Elliot's wife Ruth joined him in the business. It was the first toy company to gamble on advertising directly to kids through Disney's Mickey Mouse Club, risking a whopping $500,000, which in those days was pretty much equivalent to betting the company. They managed to sell over a million burp guns. Talk about a bang for your buck. Fast forward to 1959. Mattel introduced the world to Barbie, Created by Ruth Handler and inspired by a doll she had seen in Germany called Build Lily, curiously, Mattel acquired the rights in 1964 to Lily and immediately ceased production of it. Hmm. Wait, what? Uh -huh. Anyway, back to the story. Uh, many were sceptical. Would a doll with breasts really appeal to kids? But Barbie defied all odds and turned out to be a rocket ship success. However, not everything was sunshine and rainbows. Ruth Handler was diagnosed with breast cancer and had to undergo a mastectomy. And then came the scandal. The founders were caught up in accounting fraud. Ruth pleaded guilty, attributing her oversight to the cancer treatment that clouded her focus on the books. After the handlers stepped away, Mattel experienced financial turbulence. The toy market had gone soft, largely due to the oil crisis in the 70s. And the rising oil prices sent production costs skyrocketing Furthermore, changing cultural dynamics led to a shift in consumer preferences. Don't worry, Mattel comes out on top, and as we know Barbie survives. If you want to know more about Mattel, we'll leave some links below. Now back to our girl, Barbara. In 1965, Eden charmed audiences with her iconic role in I Dream of Jeannie at the age of 34. The same age Margot Robbie is now. Imagine, just for a second, Eden taking a hiatus from Jeannie and stepping into the glamorous world of Barbie. Eden had the whole package. She was beautiful, wholesome and sexy. Not to mention her comedic timing was spot on. She could sing, she could dance. The woman was a walking recipe for a blockbuster. But Eden's acting chops weren't confined to the magic lamp. Prior to her iconic Jeannie role, she'd showcased her acting range in an array of roles. Remember her spellbinding performance in Flaming Star opposite Elvis Presley? Or her role in How to Marry a Millionaire, where she had us chuckling with her character's witty one-liners and comedic flair? Eden was a triple threat, equipped with singing and dancing talents that set her apart from her peers. If you've seen The Woman Hunter, you'd know just how captivating her performances could be. Now, let's take a moment to visualise Eden swapping her genie outfit for Barbie's trendy ensemble. Imagine her infusing the role with her unique brand of humour and charisma. She could have presented us with a Barbie that was more than a fashion model, a Barbie with a soul, who could belt out a tune and dance up a storm. During this period, Disney was ruling the roost at the box office. The Jungle Book raked in about 141 million, Mary Poppins fetched about 103 million, and the Aristocats accumulated around 55 million. That's a total box office haul of $299 million. Willy Wonka, though loved, now was a box office bomb. Now, let's put those numbers into today's context. Adjusting for inflation, these figures would be worth an impressive $2.3 billion in 2023. If Barbie had danced onto the big screen at the same time, who knows how much Eden and Mattel could have pocketed? Given the times, a 60s Barbie on the big screen would likely be more Bye Bye Birdie or The Love Bug or even That Darn Cat than the modern version which sees Barbie in the real world. 
So if Eden had played Barbie in, say, three films, and they were as successful as Mary Poppins, that could have given Mattel and a studio a total box office of $309 million, adjusted to today's numbers that comes in at a whopping $2.3 billion. And if we gave Eden a 2% gross, that would be worth $47 million. Not bad. And there you have it, the iconic Barbara Eden stepping into Barbie's pink heels. Amazing what a bit of what if can uncover, right? It's been fun revisiting Eden's fabulous career and envisioning a glittery detour. Enjoyed the trip? Smash that like button. Want more mind-bending adventures? Hit subscribe. Till next time, I'm Kaylee, over and out.